When we were getting ready, it was very hectic. Lots of people to look after and make sure everybody had what they needed, hunting for safety pins and thinking people would never get all their clothes on in time, but they did. We poured all the bubbly, but we never really had time to drink it, unfortunately. Donna was anxious, a bit nervous, but very much in control and very much in charge and knew what she was doing and she was organised and uh, yeah, she was very, very good. Everything just seemed really hectic. Didn't seem like anything was ever going to flow right because it was just job after job after job. Didn't go rushing around telling people, let's do this and let's do that. I thought I would just chill out as much as possible. There were one or two little things that caused a little hiccup to that, what we now call croissant gate. Sue went and bought some croissants for Donna and the bridesmaids but one of the members of the family came along and quaffed the croissant and it was only one left. Sue said that was Donna's croissant so he ran off and went to get another one. Seeing Donna come down the stairs in her dress looking absolutely stunning and beautiful and just feelings of immense pride and a bit emotional seeing her looking so lovely. Everybody was gone and it was just me and my dad and we just got in the car and then that was it, ready to go. By then I think I'd finally calmed down and I was looking forward to the day and just thinking that now I just got to turn up, say the right words and everything would be fine and I was excited. Well I was thinking of Robert and how excited he must be to be getting married and I was so proud of him. I had the privilege of tying my best man's tie because he was incapable of tying a full Windsor so I had to figure out how to do it the other way around and get that done. Took my mind off everything that I needed to be worried about. Just seeing Robert in church and just just welcoming him into the family and just feeling so happy that they love each other so much and it's been a very very, very special day. Welcome to the marriage of Anna Smale to Robert Kens. You might notice I'm not Ian Smale, who will be leading the proceedings today, but as you can see, he's just been a bit busy. But Robert, will you take Donna to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. But Donna, will you take Robert to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live. I will. Whatever is true, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, think about such things, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. And what man can boast that their mother-in-law preached at his wedding? <laughs> so let's not have any mother-in-law jokes, that's it. Donna, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you, within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Robert, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you, within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, I proclaim that they are husband and wife. of the day for me the speeches my dad and Robert and his best man saying some nice things so that Robert felt really valued but what can I tell you about Donna you know that she's intelligent she gets that from her mother she is beautiful and she gets that from her mother she's a lot of fun she's got a great sense of humor she gets that from me <laughs> thank you all for coming the fact that everyone could come out despite the fact that the Doctor Who thing is on today. <laughs> <laughs> this day is about being able to marry Donna and have her in my life forevermore. Happiest day of my life, it really is. Anybody that knows me would be surprised if I didn't say a few words. <laughs> in fact, you might be surprised it's only going to be a few words. <laughs> I'd also just like to say a few more words about Robert, how good he is at fixing things. Which is particularly fortunate, given how many times I break things. <laughs> We're a good pair because he balances me out. So just to be able to have everybody here to witness the fact that we're now going to be able to share our lives together just means a great deal. I am lucky enough to be blessed with what I call the maths gene. Fortunately, Robert 
It's not. <laughs> but even when I was helping him revise for his exams, it would be no more than 10 minutes before he was making some kind of joke. This was so frustrating that I ended up tearing out most of my hair. <laughs> I wish you all the luck and love in life and many, many, many years and we'll always remember you. Have a wonderful time in Iceland and we love you both very, very much and looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I'm so pleased that I'm spending the rest of my life with her and I'm going to cherish every day. Robert, thanks for turning up. Thanks for not running away to Paris because it was cheaper than Overton. Thanks for you know all the things that you said and just look forward to spending the rest of my life with you. Have a great marriage. 